Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous video, we completed all the cross section for the categories. And from now today on, we will start the cross section for products. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server. And it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Now let's get started. Let us create a model over here. Let me go over here. I have already run here npm run watch. Now let me just go over here and create a model. PHP artisan make model dash MFS migration factory and cedar. Now let me go to this products table and let me add all the fields. And if I just go over here and in the notion I have these products, these fields, I'll add all these fields and come back. So here I have added name, log, description, this cost price, price, featured, so on slider, active and this time step. I am not adding images currently because we will have it as a separate table and then product will be related to the several images or several images will be related to a product and we'll do that in the later video. It will show it on a slide slider and there will be some featured section where these products will be shown if it is true and active is that which will be always shown if it is an active product. And also a category can have multiple products and we'll be adding that as a many to many relationship because a category and subcategory both can be related to a product and multiple products can also relate to the same category. Now let us create a pivot category model. So here we have this category product, this category ID and product ID. Let us create that. So here I'll say PHP artisan make model category product minus am will create the migration and dash dash pivot will create this model as a pivot model and if i hit enter then it will create that product and this migration and here in this i'll add the necessary columns here we'll have category id and product id these will be the foreign key relationship and will be cascade on delete since it is a pivot table we don't want data to be hanging around if either category or a product is deleted now if i show you over here then we also have this product and category product that is generated here in the category product you can see here it extends pivot not a model but here in the product we have this extends model so this is the difference over here and we already have this these things over here now let me run php artist and migrate and the tables are successfully migrated after this let us create a product controller first so let me go to categories controller and let me just duplicate it and let's say here products controller and let me paste that over here and now let me go to admin.php and duplicate this and here i'll say products and here products controller and after that we'll go here in the handle inertia requests and let me just duplicate it over here and here instead of categories we'll say here products and here also products similarly we go here in the rows cedar and and duplicate it over here and instead of categories i'll say products and instead of category we'll say product like this after this if i just go over here and refresh the page then i'll see these products over here but if i click on here it will throw an error so now let me go here in the products controller and here i'll just search and replace so i'll search for here categories and let me search for the case sensitive and here i'll say products like this and similarly i'll search for capital c categories capital p products and now i'll search for let's say category and i'll say here product and i'll replace all similarly capital c and capital p like this and replace all now you can see here a bunch of errors over here on the right hand side so this is related to the resource and similarly related to the request. 
so now let me just go over here and let me just go to this category resource and let me just duplicate it and create here product resource everything will be just copy and paste like i have done in my previous crowd operations so here i'll say product resource and similarly what are the things that we want over here if we just go over here in the products table then we'll get all these things so here i'll say here let's say i'll remove this thing and here will be name slog and then we'll also have description description and then we'll have okay cost price and price and then we'll have this featured zone slider so it will not have these but a product can have many categories so i'll just write here let's say categories and let's say categories like this and let me just remove this thing from here and here instead of category we'll write product and similarly let me go to this product and create this categories relationship so product and i'll say here categories and i'll return this belongs to many category class and here also i'll return here belongs to many like this and now let me again go here in the resource so we haven't missed anything i think so i'll go here in the products controller and we have just removed some of the errors and if i again come here then we have this products request so i'll say here category request and i'll duplicate it and here i'll say products request and i'll write here like this and here instead of category it will be product and i'll paste all the validation rule over here because i have already done those and i'll just explain it i have added all the validation rules and here i have validated name slog slog should be unique and then i have description over here this is the cost price must be integer like this similarly there is this feature so one slider and active as a boolean field and i have this category and subcategory id because we will also select category and subcategory id from the product create section and in in the category it will be it must be a root category because where null parent id and here is where not null parent id which means it must not be a root category we are validating that also in the database level similarly there is this save data and category ids that i have created so that i could call these methods whenever i am saving the products in the save data i have this save only so if i show you here in the categories controller and here in the store so in the request safe only i have called it over here but we can do this same thing inside this categories request also so in case of the products i have done that we will have this names log description price this featured active and i have just transferred this cost price into this snake case and similar to the so on slider and just return the data as an array and here we can just return either collection or array it doesn't matter then i have returned this category id and subcategory id and suppose let's say a user hasn't selected a subcategory id or a category doesn't have any subcategory id then whenever we are in selecting in the product or creating a product then we cannot select that subcategory id so i am filtering that whenever i just do here filter then it will remove all the falsy values or any null values and then i am just returning values so here it will just return a collection of category ids it can have either one category or two categories now let me go to the products controller and let me go here in the index first of all let us do for the index so now here let me just fill all the things over here and let me again come back i have added the code for the index so here i have selected here id name cost price price created at so on slider featured and active and similarly if there is the name field in the filter then we are just searching by the name if there is category then we are searching by the categories so here i am saying if there is a category id then we are just looking in the relationship categories that we have created earlier in the product model over here this categories relationship and in there if the category id matches then we are doing filter over here then similarly we are doing the same thing for the subcategory id then in case of the active we are doing this and we have this active and inactive similar to that of the category so i'll just go here category and just copy those things from here this is scopes and let me go to the product and add those over here like this and now it will work same as that of the categories active then latest id and then paginate and here instead of 100 let us just say here 10 and i know that i haven't done pagination on the front end in the bujs part and we'll do that a little bit later after this i am just returning here product index and then here title is products item is all the products 
and then here also header i have this name cost price selling price so on slider featured active created ad and actions and then here i have filters they are all same in every index page and in these categories i have this category resource and let me just import it and here is the collection and here category like this we want to show these categories in the filter so here will be category root category and they will be with the children and here will be id and name here also we'll have id name and parent id then here we have this create product now let me go here in the category index over here and let me just duplicate it and instead of category i'll just say here product like this now if i just go over here in the index then here we have several things so instead of root category i'll just say here categories and i have just done that over here also you can see here multiple cursor because we also need that categories over here also and if we just see here then okay we have these things over here and we don't want all of these things and here let's say active yes and no instead of showing active and inactive and i'll just remove these things and let me go over here in the product controller and in the header we have this name and then we have this let me just duplicate this cost price we have price so on slider price this so on slider feature they will be same as that of this thing and instead of this we have this yes no label label over here like this component over here and we will be using this if we pass here active here we'll pass true then it will show yes otherwise it will show no similar it will be green or red so here i'll say let's say over here yes no label and here active will be item dot active and i can now remove this i'll just copy this thing and import it over here and instead of add new i'll write here yes no label and we'll do the same thing for so this so on slider and featured let me just duplicate this so on slider and we'll say featured and then we have this created at and actions which are here as follows now let me save it and let me come here and refresh the page let me also open the console over here and go to products and we can see here everything is being shown over here and we don't have any products so let me go to products cedar and here let me add something over here let's say product factory let's say three and let's say create it will create three products or also let's say five over here and now let me go to product factory and let me just add all the definitions over here so i have added these definitions over here i have this names log description and every other field and i have added these things over here now let me go to over here in the database cedar and we can just add that over here like this so here product cedar so here we have done here roles category cedar product cedar so let us also write here products cedar so i'll say products cedar like this i'll go here in the products cedar i'll just copy this and let me open this products cedar also and delete this product cedar delete this file and in here in the product cedar i'll just write this and i'll import this product and i'll go here in the database cedar and instead of product cedar i'll just write here products cedar and import it and remove that previous no need to import here because they are in the same folder so now instead of running all this database cedar let us only run this product cedar for now php artisan db seed product cedar and hit enter then it is successfully seeded and now if i come here and refresh the page then we can see here like this you can see here all the data over here and it is taking a very long space so let me go over here in the product index and let me go over here in the name and div here like this and i can just say here class and i can say here yt space no wrap and let me say w dash 32 and if i come here and refresh then we can see it like this but it is not showing i think there is a different class name so let me just search it and write that and the class name is this yt space pre wrap and let me just write here 64 and let me come here and refresh the page then it is showing in a different line 
then we have cost price and for the price let me just add other classes like text right so that they will be shown on the right hand side like this and they are here in on here in the slider featured active created at and actions so we have now successfully completed this index one but we need to do the filtering as well so here i have this name category and active these are shown so these are all coming from the categories filters so let me just go over here inside these filters and we have already passed the categories from that index page so it should be the same over here similarly for the active now we have two different things so we have this featured and similarly we have here so on slider so if, let me just go to product controller and here let me just search here so we have this active so we have done this only for the active but let us do the same thing for others as well so here will be so here we have this featured featured and we'll see here builder where featured will be true and where featured will be false like this but i think we don't need to do both of these because here we are passing one and zero and featured will be one and zero so instead of this we can just say here like this so here we can just say here builder where featured will be request featured like this similarly let me do it like this and here will be so on slider if so on slider is not equal to null then we'll just do here so on slider and here will be so on slider and it will be snake case like this so after this let me just come here and refresh the page and it is like this now so instead of active we need to write something else so on let's say slider and here featured like this now if i just come here refresh the page and let me just search for so on slider let me just say here yes and you can see here i'm only seeing yes over here similarly let me search for no then every other are no and let me select this so others should also work the same way and here if we just see here in the here is the parent id we'll say here category id and let me just go over here in the index sorry not here in the index but here in the product controller and we have used it over here like this so but here aren't any categories so it will not work so here if we just select anything so it is searching by the parent id let me i have to refresh it first so let me just go to products and refresh the page click on filters and then click on this category then it will show nothing because we haven't added any category to the products whenever we see date the data so let me just do it like this and if these categories have children then we'll show that over here also so let me go over here and some of them have children and some of them don't have so let me go over here and here so here in the index sorry not here in the index but here in the filters so let me just create a computed property over here let me just see here const categories equals to computed and here so here we have these props and categories so here if not filters dot if there is no any category id then we'll just return empty like this so this filters is coming from over here this is a ref so we'll do here filters dot value dot like this and now we'll do here const category equals to props dot categories dot find c and it will be c dot id is equals to filters dot value dot category id and if we don't find any category over here then we'll just return empty like this so here i am just sourcing the category if i click on over here then i'm sourcing the category on this props so which is in the list in this list i'm sourcing the category and if that category is not present then we'll just return empty because this is a subcategories and it will be an array so we'll return empty array otherwise we'll return category dot children like this because we have this over here in the product controller we have sent it over here like this categories and we have here children relationship so we'll just do here children like this and now we'll use this now here we have this category i'll just duplicate it instead of categories we'll do subcategories and 
here will be subcategory ID and here also I'll say subcategory and we'll only show this if subcategories are present subcategories dot length is greater than zero then only we'll show the subcategories now if I come here and refresh the page and come here and let me just select this then it is showing me subcategories of that and if I select on this then it doesn't have any subcategories so it is removing similarly for this also it has like this but let's say we selected some subcategory and then again came back over here then that subcategory will still have some value in that case whenever we change this category we need to reset that subcategory ID also so let me just show you over here in the view and let me just zoom it and here in the index we have this filters and here subcategory is also here it has a value but we don't see any subcategories over here so for that let me go over here and let me just watch that category id so let me watch the category id so here i'll say here filters dot value dot category id and if it has changed then we'll say here filters dot value dot subcategory id will have this empty value now let me just save it come here and refresh the page and then click on this and we have this category over here and we have this subcategory also because we have this thing so let me just go to products over here and click on this and now let me just click on this let's say this one and then click on this subcategory ID like this so it is now selected but if I come here and select any other category then subcategory will be empty and it will not be selected and if I come here also then here also subcategory ID will also be null so we have successfully completed the index phase of this products also there is I think one bug that we can see suppose there is something selected this thing and if I refresh the page then also this is hidden but if something is selected or we have just written something over here and if we refresh the page then we don't want this to be hidden but if we don't have any value selected only in that case we want this to be open so we'll fix that as well and we'll do all these things in the next video so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye